one of the things that appealed to me about it is that nobody's ever really heard of it. You know, when I tell my friends I'm going to Turks and Caicos, they think I'm going to the Black Sea. There really isn't anything here. It's just a pimple in the sea. A challenge was filming Turks. We had no infrastructure, nothing. Um, but I really felt confident that we could do it because that's where David wanted to shoot. You know, he's completely on board. And um, so he was aware of the problems. We were all aware of the problems, but we took it as a challenge, as a challenge for us. Well, we've had to come with a minimum crew. You know, there are both advantages and disadvantages to that. And one of the things it does is bonds a crew because everybody is working flat out, uh, because everybody is overstretched and nobody has the right to complain that they're overworked. We're all overworked. Um, because we can't afford to come to a place like this except um, if we're um, going to do it in a certain way and that's by all mucking in together. Shooting in London, it's all about the money. So here we've got away with a lot. We're shooting on um, lots of public areas but also lots of private areas and people have come along and said, oh, carry on, you know, don't worry about us. Do you want to park your truck there? You know, you're going to block this off for the day hold the traffic for a whole day, block off this main road. And so we've got away with a lot because people are so keen to, to you know, project this island, this country onto a world stage, which for a lot of people don't know about. Do you understand the constitution of these islands? Did you know that Turks and Caicos is a crown protector? I think I do, yes. And the currency is American, but the jurisdiction is British. We trade in the dollar and kneel to the crown. Yeah, what you might call the worst of both worlds. 